For the last two weeks, business activities in Nairobi and other parts of Kenya have been severely disrupted as anti-government protests hit the East African nation. But late Sunday, opposition leader Raila Odinga suspended the demonstrations after the government extended an olive branch for talks to resolve the crisis. And therefore, in these circumstances, and in view of the recent events that led to loss of life and destruction of property in the demonstrations that have occasioned in our country for the last uh, two weeks, I urge my brother Raila Odinga and the opposition to call off the demonstrations. In accepting the call for the dialogue, we ask that all arrests and prosecutions related to our demonstrations be stopped with immediate effect. In response, the government has dropped charges against opposition politicians facing charges of participating in the protest. The country's central business district that was strangled by protest is buzzing again. Now that they have agreed to talk, it's very good and I pray to God it continues that way in good faith so that business can go back to normal because we as Kenyans have lost a lot of revenue. I used to sell like uh, about 70 t-shirts or 80 t-shirts per day but after there was these demonstrations, I would sell about, on Thursday, on, I mean on Mondays and Thursdays, I would sell about 10 t-shirts and Less than, well, let's say less than 10, less than 10 t-shirts. But now, after they agreed that uh, there will be no demonstration today and coming Thursday, I think business will be fine, will be okay. But the greatest pain is still being felt by many other small-scale business owners whose businesses were hardest hit. Nelius Wanjiro runs a small phone accessories shop in downtown Nairobi. With her savings fast depleting, Wanjiru wasn't sure how much longer she could hold on. Business was so bad last week because of the protest. We had to close due to running battles with the police, but at least now we hope for the best. But we hope for the best. It's still too early to put an exact figure on the losses suffered by businesses in the suspended Kenyan protest. But small-scale business operators say at least 50% of their revenues were affected. For now, many businesses remain counting the economic cost and financial toll of the protest that threatened East Africa's biggest economy. Daniel Arab Moy, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.